All right. Uh, thank y'all for being here. Uh, we wanted to uh, give you an update on the officer involved shooting that happened Tuesday night. Approximately 10 15 Tuesday night, Brian Keith Hamilton Jr. and a 16 year old girl were traveling toward Anderson on Clemson Boulevard. An Anderson County deputy attempted to make a traffic stop. Uh, during that traffic stop, uh, the car left at a high rate of speed and in a dangerous manner, and the deputy uh, called the chase off, but alerted the city police department that there would be a car possibly coming toward the city at a high rate of speed. Uh, there was a city police car uh, on Clemson Boulevard near Applebee's, and uh, as the car approached Fritz Drive, it ran to the back of a yellow cab. Uh, after the collision, uh, two suspects left on the driver's side of the car and ran toward the Lowe's parking lot. Uh, I talked to the driver of the cab. He said after the collision, he got out of the cab. He didn't see blue lights, didn't hear a siren, so he wasn't aware that uh, the car was actually running for law enforcement, but did realize that uh, the driver and passenger were leaving the scene on foot. Quickly, the police department, sheriff's department surrounded the area. They had seen the two running toward Lowe's, so they cordoned off the area, and as the uh, officers arrived, the sheriff's department had a canine that they put out uh, that started tracking. Uh, it tracked toward the east side of the Lowe's parking lot to a little wooded area up there at the corner. Um, canine Roscoe was leading uh, three of the sheriff's department officers. Uh, as they started climbing the hill, they realized that the dog had engaged the suspects. They immediately heard a female scream and they heard a shot fired. At that point in time, they returned fire. They saw the silhouette of a male and they saw the flash uh, of the gun and they returned fire. Killed was Brian Keith Hamilton Jr., uh, 22 years old from Greer, and also K9 Roscoe. Uh, died in the line of duty. An autopsy was done today and the autopsy reveals that uh, Brian Keith Hamilton Jr. fired the gun at himself. It was a self-inflicted gunshot wound to the head. Uh, he also received three uh, gunshot wounds to the lower extremities when officers returned fire. The 16-year-old suspect was also shot and was sent to Greenville Memorial by helicopter. Uh, Officer Roscoe, K-9 Roscoe, uh, was a victim of crossfire, friendly fire. Uh, this was a situation that happened in about two and a half to three seconds, and uh, the officers uh, in their interview felt that they were ambushed, uh, but due to the circumstances, we now know the facts, uh, that Brian uh, committed suicide and he only fired one shot. There was one shot missing from his gun and uh, the bullet was retrieved from him today that matches his gun. At this time I'll let the sheriff talk a little bit about uh, uh, the details of that night. It's certainly a tragedy to our community, uh, to the family of the suspects, uh, to our officers. Uh, we've lost a canine that was so valuable to our community that uh, it, it just breaks my heart and uh, we want to continue to support all our officers. They uh, protect and serve us every day. I'm going to go over some of the some of the same things and you'll you'll hear the, the same things twice but uh, uh, officially for me I wanted to say that first and foremost this is a very tragic incident. One in which we are continuing to grieve for our K-9 Roscoe who is no longer with us. Additionally, since this investigation is still active and being conducted by SLED, I will not be taking any questions during or afterwards uh, following this. On August 11th at approximately 10.30 p.m., deputies with the Anderson County Sheriff's Office attempted to conduct a traffic stop on a vehicle for reckless driving. That vehicle did not stop and led deputies on a short but dangerous pursuit. Deputies discontinued the pursuit because of the driver's manner of driving was extremely erratic and unsafe to the public at large. They were later alerted that a vehicle matching that same description had wrecked into another car 
and the suspects then ran into the woods near Lowe's. Prior to entering the woods, deputies, along with K-9 Roscoe, yelled several times that they were about to enter the woods and anyone hiding in there to give themselves up. Deputies began the canine track that led them to a dark, poor, poorly lit, and heavily wooded area. This can be described as an extremely steep and at least two different sets of elevation points. Canine Roscoe was tracking in front of deputies as he, and he indicated to the handler that he engaged a suspect. Due to the elevation and ground cover, deputies could not see the suspect at this time, but issued a challenge for them to show themselves to law enforcement. Quickly, the deputies were able to observe a male suspect come into view brandishing a firearm. Deputies then simultaneously heard a gunshot and observed muzzle flash and reacted accordingly, believing they were being ambushed. This was a combat style situation where deputies returned fire, believing that they were fired upon in just mere seconds. In that moment in time, my deputies would have no reason to think anything else than other than being ambushed. As the situation was over, deputies began to render aid to the suspects and K-9 Roscoe to include calling for EMS. Deputies are trained to react and make split-second decisions in real-time events to protect themselves and others. This was one of those situations where I feel that if I were in that same situation, I would have made the same reaction. My deputies were shooting through a tight window on an elevated position on a suspect that had the high ground advantage. Unfortunately, during the encounter, K-9 Roscoe was caught in the crossfire and he succumbed to his injuries and died as a result of friendly fire. In closing, this was a cause and effect situation, ultimately the result of the suspect's actions. That's all I got.